and I'm making this video as a continuation of one of my previous videos on how to um, create hyper-realistic AI photos um, using your mobile phone. And um, right in this video, I'll be introducing an app known as PhotoLab, Photo Tutorial. So PhotoLab is one of the many apps that you can use to create hyper-realistic AI photos of yourself um, using just your mobile phone. And right now, um, I'm opening the PhotoLab app. And I said it's one of the many um, platforms or apps, you know, in, in um, one of my previous videos, I introduced three, three different um, platforms or apps that you can use to generate this. So um, I'm just going to close this up and I'm going to choose which allow it to load. Now we have the page loaded. All right, so right in this app, you know, there's some tab stop trending and recent. And um, if you scroll down, there are many kinds of um, photo editing tools. But um, I'll tell you very important things. Actually, um, I've had a couple of people tell me they use photo labs and then they wouldn't know which particular picture is used for AI photos of your face. You can generate AI photos of your face because AI, um, this photo lab app itself is um, multi purpose. In the sense that either it's about photos generally, but it's multi-purpose. All right. Um, one of the purposes is that it generates AI portraits. So what you just have to do is to upload a picture of your face or the face of whoever you want to generate AI portraits for, and then to generate AI portraits according to the particular uh, specimen or particular format that you chose. Another feature of PhotoLab is that it edits a picture. Maybe you can just add blacks, you know, make it brighter. You know, just basic editing apart from AI, uh, this AI, apparatistic AI photos or it's changing your clothes, apart from that, just edit, just simple editing, make the photo brighter, make it black and white, or um, tune your face and stuff. For I'm just going to show you a couple of things right now. And um, I'm selecting one of the, okay, so if you look at this, so one of the ways that you can use to identify whether the picture is um, for AI or not is, this if you check these two pictures if you check these two pictures you will notice that um, the picture is the picture of the person and the person right in the left is also, also the person right it's just the face it's just that the difference is just that it's the right hand is like a pencil drawing this is the, the picture uploaded is this one on this left hand side the picture that was uploaded so that means if you upload the picture what it does so um, i'm just going to relax this So that means um, you upload the picture to be in this kind of format and then if you edit you to edit it to be in this kind of format. So what it does is just, just uh, make it black, you know, your face comes out you know well and then it's in black and white. It's more, more of like a pencil kind of drawing. So that is what this what this does particularly. But then let's now see I parallel. For example, okay, let me just make some let me do this. I'm just going to choose a photo. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna crop it. And then I will allow it to process. So it's loading, it's processing. So I'll pause the video to save time. Okay, it's almost done. And just as you would see, this is just um, the exact picture I uploaded. The only difference is that this has tuned the picture to be in a form because the clothes is still the same clothes. Just that it is cropped, it's just the face, and then it's in black and white. The picture, the face is more of like a pencil. The picture is more of like a pencil kind of drawing, like an artistic work in black and white. So this is for that. So many people think, you know, when they try to upload picture, try to generate a paralytic photos. They do this, and then at the end of the day, they don't get the AI photos they actually wanted. They don't get what they actually expected to get. So I'm now going to show you how you can generate the AI photos, you know, right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit this path and then go back to Okay, and now we are back Okay, now we are back in. Sorry for the intrusion. All right, so for example, oh, just to practice this, is this I'm clicking on another kind of picture, and um, you're going to see something very quickly. Okay.
All right, it's easier. All right, if you check these two pictures, you notice something. The picture on the left, the picture of the lady wearing white. All right, you see something very important that the picture is, is quite different from the one on the right. The only common thing is that the face is the same. The right one is the generated um, picture, the generated uh, AI photos of the picture that was uploaded on the left. It's not exactly the same picture. It's not it's unlike the previous one we did, where we just put pictures, so it just edits, redraw it. But this one, it changed the outfit, it changed the air, it changed, it makes almost everything different. So this means that when we upload a picture, so this means that when I upload a picture that I want to edit, so what it does for me is that it will give me a result that it is in the format of the one on the right hand side. So my result will be in this format that is on the right hand side. That's, um, let me just point at it. So my picture will be exactly in this format, the one I'm pointing to. So no, regardless of the picture or the kind of picture I upload, it will be in this format. That means it will change the style of the picture I put, it will change the outfit, it will change and give me this exact same result. So let's practicalize this. So I'm going to select a picture, just the picture I used in the previous one. So I'm selecting the picture now. Okay, I want to zoom so that I can show the face um, clearly. Okay, let me just zoom back. Okay, I'm uploading it right now, and then we'll see the results. So much done. And that's add. Okay, it's almost done. All right, boom. And then this is what happens. So this is the result. So after I upload an outcome in this exact same format, but the face is different, right? Um, And continuing, this is another kind of AI picture. And how do I know? I'm going to show you. All right, you can see the picture that was uploaded on the left hand side. See the picture on the right hand side. It's quite different in terms of the outfit, um, the posture, the 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 um, pattern at which the face is bent towards. You know, this one, the left one on the left is like bent, bends like. Um, like an angle diagonal from the left, left to the right, but the one on the right is like a straight face. All right, but what you will notice is that is the face of a person, if the same person, just some kind of editing touch. All right, so we're just going to so ah, this is how you know that these pictures are you know AI. These particular ones that the particular one you selected is the one you want. I already explained the ones that they are just basic editing like black and white, you know, brightening the face or sharpening the picture. Those ones, you see that the same picture on the left is the same picture on the right. The difference may just be like it's zoomed and it's in it's brighter or but you see this one, they are entirely different pictures. The posture, everything, the outfit, they are all different. So when I upload the pictures, I'm just going to upload another kind of picture now. And then you will see how it generates, I'm just going to leave it, how it generates the picture that will be in the egg picture of the lady standing, you know, with a uh, jean, with a jacket rather, and then just the exact same format on the one of uh, like the one on the right hand side. So you're just going to see that in a moment. And that's just simply how to identify in Photolab. And that's one of the problems that you know many users of Photolab face. You know, they don't know which one is the AI photos. You can see exactly the same format of the one so when you choose one you know that okay this is the result you are getting this is the exact result this is the outfit to give is everything to show and this is the result of our picture so you just um, you can just save it to your phone and you wouldn't have a problem all right you can see by clicking on the you know right hand side the three dots on the right top corner top right corner rather you're just going to click and then save to device or you can also share directly you know via um you know any social media or whatever so photo lab you can share to other photo lab users or others and you can also remove um this photo lab with me but it's a premium um whatever so you may not be able to remove it just like that all right so that is for this video thank you for watching for watching and i'm just going to show you all right um the the app so this is the app photo lab is um this result ph
O C O that's photo and then lab L A B. So and that is the logo. You can see it's photo lab. That's the name and that's the logo. You can get the app store, your play store, and start using it. Thank you for watching. Please do watch to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up and of course share with the people you know. Thank you for watching. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.